In this video, we will see how does a computer read and process an image. Suppose we want to find a long sleeve shirt for men with a cookie master on it. It might be easy for a program to find a long sleeve shirt for men, but how do we know that there is a cookie master on it? What if someone never seen a cookie monster before? How do we enable them to learn it? Well, a simple solution is to show him or her a lot of cookie monster images. And gradually, he or her will recognize it. Similarly, we can show an algorithm with a lot of image of cookie master and tell the algorithm if there are two white eyes and one big mouth on some pixel of a given image, then it might be a cookie monster. But then how does a computer recognize those features? Let's first look into how a computer reads an image. So images are made of pixels and the pixel are represented by some numbers between 0 and 255. So there are two common types of images, the grayscale and the colorful scale. So the grayscale image have single channel, which means each pixel is represented by one number between 0 and 255. The smaller the value, the darker the pixel. Well, on the other hand, the color image has three channels, red, green, and blue, which we usually refer as RGB images. And in this kind of image, each pixel is coded by three numbers to represent each channel's value. And these values are still between 0 and 255. So here is a toy example of a grayscale image with size n by m. We can extract each pixel's value by its row index m and its column index n. So, as we can see, the top left corner of an image can be colored by IM00, while the bottom right corner can be colored by IM M-1 and N-1. And here is a way of how the computer reads the color image. It first splits the given image to three channels, red, green, and blue. And then it read it as a 3D matrix with shape of n by m by 3. To call a value of this matrix, we need three indexes. The m, which rows of the pixel is at, the n, which column the pixel is at, and the c, which channel of the r, g, b it, it is in. For example, the upper left corner of the red channel has a value of 43. And the upper left corner of the green channel has a value of 98. And here, the lower right corner of the blue channel has a value of 30. Well, reversely, if we extract one pixel from a colorful image with the row and column indexes, we will have three numbers to represent that pixel. And those three numbers will be the value for each red, green, and blue channel.